Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. We have 2x to the power of 4 minus 16x equals 0. And we are going to provide a complete solution to this um, problem. And because this has a degree of 4, we are expected to have four solutions, right? So let's keep going. Now, the first thing we can do is to factor out some common factors, right? Now, two is here and it can be found over there. So bring out your two as a common factor. We have x and x here, so bring out your x, then open bracket. x to the power of three will be left over there minus 2 into 16 is 8 and x is already outside so this is equal to 0 from here we apply 0 product rule so we can say that 2x is either equal to 0 or x to the power of 3 minus 8 is equal to 0 right so from here, we can divide this by 2 and divide by 2. This will cancel and x is equal to 0 over 2. And this will still give us, this will still give us 2, right? Sorry, it will give 0. 0 divided by 2 is 0. It's actually defined. So we have the first value of x. Remember I said we are going to have three values, right? Now to get the other set of values, we'll get back to this equation where we have x to the power of 3 minus 8 equal to 0. Now we are going to have three values of x from here because it has the power of 3. And then this is what I will do. x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. Now let's apply this standard a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 being equal to a minus b into a squared plus a b plus b squared. I, I believe we can relate to this very well. So because of this, I'm going to you know work on what we have here so that a minus b becomes x minus 2 x minus 2 is what we have in the first bracket then in the second a squared becomes x squared plus a b becomes x times 2 and that is 2x plus b squared and that is going to be 2 squared right so we have 2 squared over there and then all of this is equal to 0, so I write my 0. To continue, we have x minus 2 and then x squared plus 2x plus 4 equal to 0. What do I do from here? From here, we're going to apply 0 product rule so that x minus 2 is either equal to 0 or x squared plus 2x plus 4 is equal to 0. Now from here, we're going to get x to be equal to 0 plus 2 and our x from here is equal to 2. So here again, we have another value of x and that is x equal to 2. That is the second value. The first value, x is equal to 0. Second value, x is equal to 2. And from this quadratic equation, we are going to have two more values, right? And the equation is x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 0. Now, our a is 1, coefficient of x squared our b is 2, coefficient of x, and our c is 4, the constant. What is the formula? 
x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2 times a. Right? Now, substitute into the formula. x is equal to, in place of minus b, I will have minus 2 plus or minus 2 squared, that is for b squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 4. Right? And this is all over 2 times 1. To continue, x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 16. How did I get the 16? 4 times 1 times 4. So this is over 2. Then we have x to be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of negative 12. That is 4 minus 16. Now here is what we will do. This is still over 2. But I want to cut out this negative from here. So that when I do that, we we'll have x to be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 12 multiplied by square root of negative 1. And everything is over 2. Now let's proceed. The next thing we are going to do is to break 12 down. x will be minus 2 plus or minus. We have from square root of 12, which is 4, times 3, then times square root of negative 1, and all of this is over 2. Let's continue. And then from here, x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 is giving us 2. Then we have root 3, then multiply by square root of 1 square root of negative 1, and it is imaginary, so we write i all over 2. From here, we can arrange it again. x is equal to minus 2 plus or minus. Remember, this i is not under the square root sign, so we can bring it and 2 together, so we write 2i, then we have root 3. All of this is over 2. Now, what can the 2 do? This can go with this and go with this. So we're going to have x to be equal to minus 1 plus or minus i root 3. Now from here we have a 2 in 1 solution. Let's bring the four solutions together. The first is x1, which is equal to 0. The second, x2, which is equal to 2. The third, x3, which is obtained from here, minus 1 plus i root 3. Then x4, which is also obtained from here, and it's minus 1 minus i root um, 3. So these are the four solutions for the equation. Thank you for watching, and do well to share this to your friends.